A couple of people have asked me about the bamboo hinges that I've been using on these uh, mid-sized to larger uh, phones that I've been making recently. And I tried to describe it in, in an earlier video, and in fact the video that I'm editing now, uh, I go through a little more detail. But uh, I wanted to do just a short video to show you exactly because I originally picked up the idea off of rcgroups.com in the forum. And I didn't really fully understand how he was doing them either, and it's kind of because it's kind of hard to describe. So I'm going to try to show you. First thing I do is I cut my bamboo to length. I've been using uh, wire strippers to cut the bamboo, but if you use just plain cutters, you smash them. So the strippers, because they have that, you can see this, the little half moon uh, shape on each side where they come together. The idea is when you're stripping wires that it cuts the outside and not the inside. Well, the same thing is, works for the bamboo. And I use a pretty small one and just strip it. And it cuts it without squishing uh, the fibers. I use a finishing uh, thread. We use carpet thread. There's even uh, carbon fiber string. Take off about a foot. Fold it in half, loop the thread around one of the skewers. For a control surface, you know, this size, maybe eight or nine inches, two of these hinges is enough. And you just take it and wrap it around, then go back and go between them. Not a whole lot of pressure, I don't want this real, real tight but just snug. And then back around the first one, I'm doing figure eight. And I'll do maybe two or three of these. And then, instead of going around again, another figure eight, because I'm, you can see I'm in the middle, go through between the skewers, around, and back around, all the way around, and then onto one of the sides. Now, the side that I went onto, that's where you're going to glue, just on the one skewer. Don't get the glue in between in the center because that's your hinge joint. And then just put a drop of CA on. And then trim it off flush. When you go to do your second hinge joint, very important that the two skewers are like flat and level, they're twisted at all. Because if they're twisted, obviously your hinge, your uh, surface, control surface will be tilted. Take note of where your glue side is because you're going to glue the other hinge on the exact same side. Again, put it around the first, all the way around, and then figure right between the two, back around the first one again, back around, you just keep going in the same direction through and around, same direction, now two or three times, and now this is where you want to make sure these are level, again, check them again, twist them between your fingers, make sure they feel like they're perfectly flat, because how you do this, this part of it is going to determine how level your control surface is when it's done. Now spread them apart a little bit, the same thing, fish them two pieces of thread through, okay. around, this one's a little on the loose side, which I'll tighten up a little bit, and then around again, and, and I do each step, the figure eight and the uh, circle around the center of the hinge joint, uh, depends on really how big it is, two or three times is really all you need, now around, now again, Make sure they're flat again. Check them again. Put your glue on. Again, on the same side, same skewer. Just on the back of the skewer. Just like trim it off. To attach the, the hinge to your, uh, to your plane, take your bamboo, spread them apart a little bit, and fish the tape through to the center of the tape like that. 
The sticky side is facing down now. This is the sticky side of the tape underneath. Apply a small bead of Gorilla Glue. And I don't go all the way to the end with the glue or the tape on this either because the glue might uh, start to expand and come out and come on your hinge or onto the bamboo skewer. So I stop the glue a little bit from the edge of the tape, maybe a half an inch or so, and then just we just line it on and then work it down onto the surface. And prepare your other side. Again, either this would either be your plane or the uh, or the control surface either way. I don't use the reinforced tape when I'm doing these because the reinforcement actually goes in the wrong direction and it's really way more than you need <laughs> on this to be honest. So the Gorilla Glue alone will hold them but the tape actually uh, just makes the glue kind of force itself into the, into the seam around the skewer as it uh, expands. I'm going to fish the tape through, make sure that it's not uh, it's nice and straight. It has a tendency sometimes to catch and be a little twisted. That'll affect how your hinge uh, performs. The sticky side is up on the tape now. And then I'm just working it up on. Start in the center and work to the outside. I try to keep it nice and tight. And now if I were doing three hinges on this, I would have just done the one in the center first, and then the one on the end, and then the other end and I would have had to do the tape in two sections. But what I found that uh, the works well to kind of supplement this is sometimes you have a bit of a gap between there. I don't know if you can see there's, there's a little bit of a gap. Part of that is because my, my mock surface, my, uh, my demonstration piece doesn't go all the way to the end, so it's, it's a little bit more flexible than it normally would. Normally it would be quite, you know, pretty rigid, but there would still be a little bit of a gap that, that can open up. So what I do then is just a small piece of tape and maybe, you know, a fourth of the whole length of the hinge, you don't need much, fold it down, all the way in the down position, push it together nice and tight and level, and then just like here it would make a tape hinge. Now the, the thing is now, you put this tape on top of the other tape, so it's not like tape on foam. Uh, even when I make my tape hinges, I put tape on the all the way around and then make my, my tape hinge onto the two surfaces. Because tape on the tape is going to hold a lot better than tape on the phone, but tape wrapped all the way around is going to hold uh, pretty secure in it, uh, as, as like a base uh, for, the, for the other tape, if that makes any sense. And then that's it. That hinge is guaranteed not to fail. A really strong and, and uh, very flexible hinge. That's it. Take it easy. Lucky, I'm tired of talking in between you, Lucky Bird. Lucky Bird, be quiet. Whoa, <laughs> across the room.